All right, well, my name is Noah, and this is my pandemic story. Going into COVID, um, it was always in the back of my head, you know, COVID's upon us, uh, wear your mask, um, social distance, it's here, everyone's dealing with it, the world's dealing with it, it's a real thing, and uh, we need to be mindful of that. But it didn't really hit home for me at least until both my parents and I uh, tested positive for COVID. Well, if you know me, what you do, this changed my life because I am a somewhat of a social butterfly, I'd say. Um, I go to the gym often, I go and meet with friends, I'm out all the time. Um, and after I uh, tested positive for COVID, all that stopped. I was quarantining, my whole family was quarantining, um, and that really stunk. And it lasted for a while, because it has to. It affected me um, because it brought a, a sense of loneliness that I had never felt before. Um, and I didn't feel this way until near the end of my quarantining period, but even with social media and being able to call people and text people, not being able to have that face-to-face -face interaction, gosh, I hated it. I think what changed for me and my attitude towards these types of things is it helped me look outside of myself. Being involved in the church, you have to make it a point to look outside yourself because you're, you're, you're ministering to people and being ministered to. But this brought a deeper sense to that. It gave me a greater appreciation for those who are unable to um, be with people physically, whether that's due to health or whatever. Um, I had never really experienced that. And I really felt like the Lord was saying, this is what they have to go through. And I think the Lord allows us to go the, through those types of things sometimes so we can have a greater understanding of what others are going through and in turn be able to help them and, and love on them um, and vice versa, obviously. You know, it sounds so basic, but it's, it's, I think it's basic and it's cliche for a reason. And that is that God loves you. He loves, he loves you more than you or I can even fathom. And when things are taken away from us, like being able to meet in person or certain aspects of our lives that can maybe, while good, sometimes tend to be distractions from that relationship with God, now is the time to really dive in. Because um, I think this life can uh, serve as somewhat of a distraction from that main goal, and that is to know God deeper and fuller. Um, and it's only for our benefit, honestly. Like, it's not like He needs this relationship with us. This relationship that we have with Him is only for our benefit. I think this is a great opportunity to look outside of ourselves um, and see what other people are going through. Um, to reach out proactively <laughs> um, and make it a point to do so. Because even though it might seem not as important as other things, reaching out to people is extremely important. Not just for the people who are being reached out to, but for those who are doing the reaching out because uh, they benefit as well and they grow from that and they're blessed from that.